Okay, today we're gonna put in a water pump. It's down at the bottom here. So we gotta pull the whole front off, the top off, and then get it out. One, two, three, go. Next, I pull out these two screws and then pop the side. It turned out that there was one screw right down here that I needed to take out. And then this whole thing pops right off. We're gonna undo these three wires right here. It looks like the next screws are gonna be these right here. We're gonna pull off this whole front. And let's look in here. And we got that. So I just took a pair of pliers here and there's this spring down here. And I just pulled it with the tip and it came right out so quickly that I couldn't even show you. Then this thing just peels right ar around and you just wanna tuck this in because we're pulling the front off so that we can get to the water pump which is down at the bottom. There's two down here. Okay, we're gonna take out these one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this whole thing's gonna come right off, I hope. It should be get better than that. Okay, so I pulled that off and, and this thing just popped. So let's see if, see what we got. It looks like I took, I took this bottom screw out. Let's see if there's any other screws down at the bottom. I think it should just lift up. Let's try. Okay, so we got this. We got to disconnect right there, that wire. And then if you look down there, it looks like this whole thing will just pull off. So we're going to try that. So there was two screws here. We had to pull that off. It came right out, threw it in the basket. Now this whole thing should just... I said it should just... Like if you look down, hold on. If you look down there, this is what's holding it. Like three little thingies. Oh, there's one screw down there. I see. We got it. Okay, so there was a hidden screw down there. A little shorty. We'll leave him there. Okay, it's gonna come off now. We got it. Three, two, one. There we go. Okay, so now we can see where the water pump is. It's right there. Oh, there it is. It's that right there. So that screws on to that. So we kind of got to pull this whole thing off and get to that. Oh, so there's four screws. One. Uh, two. Three. That'll get it out. Let's see if this thing's going to make a big water mess. I don't remember if we filled it with water again. A little water. Okay, this looks like it's a 10 millimeter. So we're gonna take it out and we're gonna see if we can do it with this, this uh, normal tool here. So there's only three of those screws and this whole thing kind of lifts up now. You see that? So what we need to do is we need to get to this side. If I disconnect a couple more of these hoses, it should come out better. So I just pulled it out to the side here. We've got two wires on it. There's a brown on top and a black on the bottom. They should just pull right out. Of course they don't when I try, but, but they should. Okay, I gotta use a little case around it. It looks like it's held on by uh, maybe just this one. Uh, Phillips head. Cover pulled right off. There's two more screws that should take this water pump out. And then we're gonna hope that this is the problem because it was not pumping water. We'll probably find what's causing it not to pump water very soon. So that pulled right off. You just gotta remember which direction it was. It was kind of on an angle. So we're gonna put the new one in. It's this easy. Just put it in, put the things on. Always good to have two hands. So um, it just takes a little bit of wiggle to get it in there. Um, you gotta get the bottom in first. 
And then you gotta remember which one you had a screw in. I'm gonna go with this one. But I could be wrong. But I'm not. So you just wanna make sure that it closed up, there's a gasket in there. And then, get the other screw in. And now we're on the rebuild. It's going back together. This little cover, gonna go right on top of that. Kinda like so. Last little screw in the bottom. Rubber feet fell off the bottom here, so I gotta put that back on. That's what keeps this thing. Um, floating. Okay, so it's got these little feet on. There's three of them. We gotta put this back on. I think it was brown on top. That does not fit very well. That one does. So we will need to use a little crimping. So, this was the first one. I left the clamp low on that one so I remember that it was the back one. And this is the front one. These needle nose Definitely a good tool to have. I use them for everything. It needs to be routed underneath here. I think it comes out this hole. That's the drain plug hole? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So we want to make sure that that is in the right place so that you can pull it out when you need it. Um, the next thing is these three bolts. We're gonna hope that they line up. Okay, so these are going back in nice and easy. And this third one over here. Yeah, we're just gonna tighten those up. They went right into place. And after that will be this little guy on top. clamp back down so it doesn't get all over the place. I'm going to tighten everything up now. Okay, so we did those three. This doesn't need to come out. Put that back in. Did we forget anything? We put on those two hoses, this hose, those three screws, the one wire we removed. We left these wires on. I think this is ready to go back together now. So I'm gonna take this one screw out that I put there so I'd remember. And we're gonna put the front of the washing machine back on. Okay, go. Okay, so we're gonna put this plug back in here. This is the door lock plug, slides right in. There's three little feet that slid into place. And really what we're gonna do is uh, we'll put one of the screws in up here to make it stay in place for us. Hold on, we're gonna use a different one. Let's see here. This is not lined up. It's gonna come this way. We're just off the balance here. Gotta get one in. Oh, 
wanted. They were kind of loaded when I took it out. Uh huh. There's like pressure on it. So you gotta turn this thing down. It's not so nice. Once you get one in, the rest of them should line up. We're just uh, gonna put together the bottom first. This was two screws. Oh wait, we have one, one little one that I just threw back in there, this guy. He was down at the bottom here. place. Well, that's why I didn't see that other screw because it was blocked by that huh? when I took it apart. Okay. I got sticky soap hands right there. I don't know why this guy doesn't have an air conditioning in his garage. <laughs> Idiot. What are we gonna do about that? We're gonna shake, shake the monkey. I see. Got a magnet or something? There's Wait. three wires back here. You gotta clip them back together. Then there's one screw here that I put back in this place. This whole thing just snaps on here, I think. If that's how it was on. Let's see. Make sure I'm in place. There has to be something. Oh, that lines up right there. Hands are all slippery from soap that is all over this machine. really not that hard to do this job you just have to remember where you put your stuff where you where it goes um, that's all together we just got the top going so the top slides on from the back on the back. This just holds it together. And it's ready to go now. We forgot the spring. This will be the hard part since we don't have the right tool. But we'll figure it out. 
let's throw this thing back in where it came from. Got it. And we put the door back on because that's nice and easy. But then we're going to go in here. And this is the hardest part of the whole thing. See, we got this spring. So we got to pull this apart and get it back over. We got to pull this gasket around. We pulled it apart with a pair of vice grips and needle nose like this and, and then slipped it on there. It's harder than it looks, but it only took like two minutes. So it's back together. So I'm pretty sure, sure there's something wrong with this. Look at how the, this thing kind of just is, is loose on there. Like I, I didn't check the other one, but, but that looks pretty shot if you ask me.